In this video, we're going to take a look at the updates to NuGex for this latest release. The lens distortion node gets a great update. It now uses the GPU for node calculation, giving it a speed boost. There are also now projection types for rectilinear and fisheye. Presets have been added for various distortion models, including NuGex Classic, Cara, 3D Equalizer, as well as the option to add custom models. A new multi-frame detection approach means you can get the best coverage from the node by allowing it to analyze multiple frames. The solver will take all the analyzed frames into account during the calculation. After when we are done refining the solve, we can use the node to undistort our footage, composite in an undistorted workflow, and then re-distort the result. The Smart Vector toolset is an extremely powerful set of tools that has been added to Nuke's arsenal. It's been used on countless productions and has been saving time for artists around the world, allowing them to focus on being creative. A new addition to the Vector Distort node has been implemented. A blur knob is now a part of the attributes, allowing users to blur the vectors that are being inputted. This is especially useful when you're dealing with an input that has thin lines or fine lines. Over time, these types of inputs can begin to get micro distortions that will cause this type of warping artifacting. The new blur knob will allow users to counteract this by increasing the blur strength. The blurring is happening internally on the ST map, focusing on the pixel location. The Smart Vector node also now gets an output to write toggle. This now enables the creation and writing of Smart Vectors to disk to be done on the render farm or with frame server. 